If you're a skilled professional seeking new opportunities in a vibrant and welcoming country like Canada, right? We've got some exciting news just for you. This is for those who are dreaming of living and working in Canada. We are going to be introducing two recruitment opportunities that will be taking place in Prince Edward Island in Canada. This job recruitment covers all sectors, whether you're an engineer, a healthcare professional, an IT expert, or a creative mind, whatever sector you're in, these opportunities are tailored to professionals in all job sectors. Imagine working in an environment where your skills are valued, a vibrant community that embraces newcomers with open arms. Prince Edward Island offers just that. This is a good opportunity provided to all international skilled workers and you can apply from wherever you are. My husband will explain in detail and I would encourage you guys to use this opportunity as a pathway to achieving your Canadian dream. And if you're seeing me for the first time, hello, my name is Amy. If you find this video helpful after watching it, please give it a like, share it with your friends. Let's get started. Hello guys, you're welcome to Immigrate with Amy. And today we're going to be sharing some exciting opportunities in one of Canada's provinces. As you know, there are a lot of pathways that one can explore if you are interested in moving to Canada. All right. And of course, on this channel, we usually share quite a lot of different opportunities. And today, this is just one of such opportunities that can help you immigrate to Canada as a skilled professional. So one of the things that the provinces usually do, well, not all of them, but most of them, is that they usually collaborate with the employers of labor, okay, to launch a campaign to attract international skilled workers in different sectors that are required or that are needed in the provinces, okay, at particular point in time, all right? So what they might be requesting for in this time of the year May not be the same skills that they would need maybe in another six months so it's always good for you to keep updating yourself and following up on these international recruitment events okay so we are going to be showing you some opportunities that are currently ongoing this month in the province of prince edward island in canada as you can see here this is like the home page of the international recruitment event that the government of Prince Edward Island usually organizes and they do that in collaboration with employers across that province in Canada. One thing you would see here is that they have quite a number of different recruitment events. Some of them are already closed as you can see here. If you see yeah, if you take a look at the column for candidate registration you would see that four of them are, are already closed and there are two with active links for you to register. That means that these two are still in process and if you're interested, you can apply. You can also see on the date column that these two are actually or were actually opened in this current month, April 2024. That tells you that, you know, it's currently ongoing. So the first one is the international recruitment mission, specifically in the construction industry. And the second one is the international recruitment a talent pool okay this one is more general so they are not uh, localizing this to a particular industry or a particular occupation they have opened it up to all professionals so it now depends on the strength of your profile so in this video we're going to be showing you these two opportunities you know how their application form looks like and i'm going to show you exactly what information they need you to fill okay in the application forms for these two opportunities so let's start from the International Recruitment Talent Pool 2024. So this is a general call for skilled workers across different industries, across different skill sectors to apply. And, you know, uh, that will also give the employers the opportunity to see your profile and to indicate if they are interested based on the information that you have submitted. So, so basically, they are asking you to register and provide a resume to be considered by employers that are hiring in Prince Edward Island. Okay, so employers, after they have seen your profile, they will connect with you as a potential applicant to discuss job opportunities in pressing 
or virtually. Two points to note here before we move on to the application. One is that it's a serious crime to lie or provide false information directly or indirectly. So there's no point doing that. The second one is that it is free to submit this expression of interest. Okay, so you're not paying to apply. It's free. It's an online form that is open to the public regardless of your location worldwide. Okay, so what information do you need to provide? So you can see here they have divided the job occupations under different uh, industry sectors. So they have opportunities in the healthcare industry, in education, in IT, in hospitality, trucking industry, in manufacturing, and in bioscience. Okay, so let's take a quick look at some of the opportunities or the occupations that are currently in demand and for which employers are looking for people in the province of Prince Edward Island. Caregiver under the healthcare, registered nurse, doctor, and then other healthcare field of work. Under education, there are opportunities for early childhood educators, elementary teachers, secondary teachers, and then other education field of work. Under IT, they have opportunities for web developer, programmer, cybersecurity analyst, software engineer, and then other IT field of work. Under hospitality, housekeeper, cook, and other hospitality field of work. Under trucking industry, truck driver, dispatcher, heavy duty mechanic, and then other trucking industry field of work. Under manufacturing, machine operator, manufacturing worker, meat cutter, other manufacturing field of work. And finally, under bioscience, they have opportunities in quality control, process engineer, and then other related field of work in bioscience. So you have to select the, you know, the opportunities for which you have experience in, for which you are trained in, okay? it's Now, it's possible for you to have you know, experience in more than one broad category. For example, it's possible for you to have experience as a caregiver and also have experience as maybe an early childhood educator. They are more or less related one way or the other. So that is possible. But as much as possible, I would suggest that you stay within the same industry. So you are not just choosing opportunities across, you know, it doesn't show consistency on your path. So you select the options. It's possible for you to select multiple options. And I can show you, you can see here, I've selected caregiver and then under education, I've selected early childhood educator. So it's possible for you to select multiple opportunities. Okay. And then once you tick all of that options, then you go below and fill in your contact information. So your first name, your last name, your email, you confirm your email, and then you will upload your resume. Don't forget that your resume should be in the Canadian format, okay? We've done a video previously on the Canadian CV format. If you also need some support, you can reach out to us regarding that, okay? And once you click on, you know, resume and upload your resume, the last thing you need to do is to agree to the terms of use and privacy policy and click on save and next. Once you click on that, it brings you to this second page where you will now answer some general qualification questions. One, what is your country of nationality? They are all drop down menus that you can select your answer from. What is your current country of residence? You can select uh, your age. It must be between 18 to 59 years. So that is the age bracket that they are considering. The next one is, do you have a valid working holiday visa to travel and work in Canada? It doesn't mean that if you don't have it, you cannot apply for this program. It's just one of the considerations that they are looking at, okay? So there is a program called International Experience Canada and certain citizens of, you know, certain countries are eligible to apply for this, especially if they are between 18 to 30 years. So if that applies to you, you can select the option here. If not, just click on no. Okay, the next, you know, question is based on your professional experience. First, are you able to perform work tasks in the English language? So you need to select, the, you know, the option French language. As you know, Canada is, you know, bilingual country. So they also want to know if you have French language proficiency or not. But at least you need to be proficient in one of those languages. If you are interested in working full time in Prince Edward Island, how many years of full time work experience you have? What is your current position? And then what are your previous positions held? So you can, this is a free form where you can type any, you know, work experience that you've had in the past. Okay. If you go down, you would see, have you successfully completed a secondary school diploma? So this is like the minimum requirement in terms of education. And then finally, how did you hear about this recruitment? You can also select now, by the way, once you have selected all your answers, 
click on save and next and then you can complete the application two things that i want to highlight here is number one they have you know ask you about your language proficiency the way to show that is through one of the standard tests that canada accepts okay so if you have not written you know ielts or one of the accepted english language test or one of the accepted french language tests i think you need to do that because you cannot go through immigration process to Canada without the required language, you know, proficiency certificate. Secondly, they ask about your education. Okay, as you know, if you didn't study in in Canada, you would need to do what they call credential assessment. So even if it's a secondary school diploma or high school, you know, diploma that you have you still need to evaluate it okay we've done quite a number of videos on the requirement for these how you can evaluate your credentials we also offer support through one-on-one -on -one consultation the link is in the video description if you are interested as well okay so make sure those two points are considered when submitting your application so this is the first opportunity all right which is the international recruitment talent pool so it's general across different fields the second one that they are currently recruiting for is for people in the construction industry. So this is for construction professional candidate registration. The form is similar to you know what I already showed previously. Here you can see the list of trade and construction jobs that they are currently recruiting. We have opportunities for electricians, mechanic, carpenter, drywall, plumber, a pipe fitter and steam fitter, painter, heating and cooling technician, construction helper, roofer, mechanic, mechanic engineer, and then other trade and construction field of work. Okay, so you can select the options that relate to your current and previous experience, and then you can fill in the other information, attach your resume. Also, don't forget, it has to be in Canadian CV format. If you need support with that, you can reach out to us and then click and move on to the next qualification questions, which I already showed in the first opportunity. Overall, we think this is a good opportunity if you're interested in immigrating to Canada, if you have experience in all of these occupations that we have highlighted, make sure you go to this site and you submit your application in the video description. So make sure you go to the link, you know, click on that link, do some general research. In the meantime, we have put all of these relevant links including our consultation link if you are interested you can also visit the prince edward island provincial immigration website just to read up more information about the province the opportunities available the different provincial nomination pathways and then of course by all means apply for this international recruitment event okay thank you so much guys for watching do have a lovely day